What's up everyone? I know you guys weren't expecting me to come back to One Piece, but I got excited. I went to the Bandai Card Fest. So many cool faces, so many good games. And I think I'm back. I want to start the game playing with something easy. So I started playing with some Nami. Nami already just stopped a couple of tournaments. I'm actually really surprised that it's stopping because Rush can really beat this deck. If you can just pushing, keep pushing 6k characters for the whole game, he's going to have a very hard time uh, to stop you. But if you're only going to do one or two attacks per, per turn, then it's going to be very easy to for Nami to win this game because she's perfect at stopping three attacks at max four if you're really lucky but mostly she can really stop three attacks and all these three attacks are only plus 4k plus 2ks so at most she can stop 10 to 14k or 12k damage at most usually and therefore if you could do more than that there's more than that amount of damage or go sparingly and separate that damage into all your uh, characters so everything is at 6k or 7k then you have some better options now the deck's still strong i'm going to show you guys some gameplay about the deck but it's been topping this is a list uh, i think there's only one difference in this list between all the other lists a uh, couple played the does a couple played different characters i think the zeph is perfect i don't think you need the hanger to be honest especially in the counter match in the mirror match just need a couple of Zephs and you want to bring them out as early as possible and they give you all the value you want. Also, when your opponent is rushing into you, there's really nothing you could do. You could play maybe some more blockers, but they're so slow. Like the other blockers that help us are the boobles and they're so slow that it's almost better to not even play them. There's not even space for them, to be honest with you. Uh, I just don't know how to explain this to you guys. Maybe you would play the boobles. Uh... Because it is usually stopping at like six cards. That's even if I'm getting rushed, it's only six cards or at max 10 cards. It's very rare. I'm at like 16 cards and I'm losing. So maybe the boobles is the answer. But this is another way to kind of deal with it is you use these crocodiles that can attack into your opponent creatures, killing them and helps you still activate your events because it, it keeps your events at one cost or zero. And so this could be a strong uh, counter. I've seen it top uh, in one of the awkward uh, New Zealand tournaments. It topped and uh, he was running two of these, which makes sense, I think, against rushing decks. Uh, but mostly, I think the hanger is just completely non-necessary. The problem is not the mirror match. The mirror match is actually not that hard to beat. It's just whoever's hitting uh, more Zephs, really, honestly. So Zef is broken here in the mirror match. But also... What you're really looking for is this rush match. The rushing match is extremely hard for you. If the opponent is hitting you with five creatures at 6k each, it's almost impossible for you to withstand more than two turns. Uh, it's just too much uh, sequences of damage, and you're usually not out of dawn or out of cards by the end of it. And so this kind of makes sense. Another way, I, honestly, the booble... The booble kind of makes sense too. The one that makes you... It's just a blocker. I was thinking about that. It's just so slow and so weird. And typically I'm not dying only because I need one blocker. Although that could be possible. It could be useful. Uh, just test this out, guys. Check out the gameplay. Tell me what you think. The deck is a lot of fun. It's insane. It's really good. It's playing its own gameplay. If the opponent is slow... A lot of these decks, they want to, they take time to kind of set up. If the opponent is slow, then you have a really strong chance. If the opponent is fast, then you need to play a little bit differently. You need to play faster. It's just a tough game. At that point, you're really relying on your RNG of the draw. But yeah, interested in your opinions. I'm very surprised that these decks are topping. They're very hard. I mean, I can see them topping in local events uh, where the people maybe are not completely used to playing them. But in, in big, big events, big tournaments, I'm surprised that they're topping. Because, uh, you know, you just rush right into it. You just, uh, as Do Flamingo, you play your Zoro, nine cost. As Calgara, you play your um, Holies and just fill up your boards. And I'll show you a game, actually. And so, yeah, interested in your opinions, guys. We're back. We're going to do One Piece content on this channel again. I'm sorry. I missed, messed up, got distracted. We're back, boys. Let's uh, check out the gameplay. Make sure you guys subscribe. Tell me your opinions about this deck. Let's go. 
All right, it's gonna be amazing, Calgaro. It's gonna be insanely strong. Put a character type from your hand to play that has a cost equal to or less than the number of dawn you control. Then, if you play the card, put the top card of your life into your hand. So it's pretty good. You can play a ten cost for for one life. That's pretty good. This is a ha bad hand. Let's mulligan. A lot better. A lot better. Start with the Kyle. I literally have no fodder. My hand's just so great. So I'm just gonna Glorioso. We didn't get anything, right? Yep. It's okay. We'll end the turn. Should have Sanji that thing instead of Glorioso. But it's not the worst thing in the world. This is fine, we want to actually pick up the Kaya. I'll take this hit, no trigger. Okay, nice, I have some fodder to trash. And we'll attack it to the holy. At some point, it doesn't have cards in hand, I think. Never mind, he keeps picking up cards. Why is it not stuff that I can use? Let's kill the holies, man. I'm at 25 HP. Oh man, I'm I'm like I'm at 25 cards. I'm still really early, and he's already got me at very low. can't just keep doing that, can I? So these rushers, they kind of hurt. Being able to attack 6Ks with everything on board.
wall. Can't do anything. See what we got here. Guess I need more blockers, right? Yeah, I'm way early. Like, there's no way I can win this. got me in a position I can't move from. And he won't let me kill any of these. Okay, well we got rid of one. So now he's going to go for 5k because he knows I have the no trigger. Come on, man. Help me out. fast I couldn't do anything all right guys let's see how we're gonna play this game here Nami we're gonna go first which is great for us we're gonna start with the big girl here giving us either love love oh we get a lot of good stuff let's grab the kaju and then We'll put this right. So at the bottom is Apis, at the top is Margaret. And in turn. Really not bad. I'll just end turn here. I don't want to attack into him. And we want to use the one of these guys we didn't want to just play margaret and i have nothing we could set up desert spada here is really good he's kind of surprised that i'm not attacking into him but he needs to realize i'm not going to attack into him at all this whole game so sabo you may add one cost three higher with 7k or high what or higher characters with 7k power or higher to the top of your life face up give up to one of your characters plus 2k so if he makes one of his three costs or higher with 7k anything higher than three costs he makes anything 7k he can put it in the top of his life but i'm not i don't care about that i can play zeph zeph is actually going to be something i trash with gavel okay because this is not uh, we don't need him in this con combo so we're going to just play the blocker and then end our turn here. So Zeph we don't need. We just trash with the gavel. We need to use Desert Spada ASAP. And I need to stop drawing too many cards if I want to use Love Love. But Love Love I could use it later. So I don't care about that too much. <clears throat> Doesn't matter that this guy's going to become double attacker or anything because we're gonna defend everything i wonder what he's wondering about i mean he has to play the, he has to attack 
Yeah, exactly. What? He just rushed? Sure. We'll just play two draw. And then I'll drop down one more Glorioso for Marjorie. That's awesome. So we have to put two Kai's at the bottom of the deck. This is why Spada would have been nice. And now I have to put two Kai's to the bottom of the deck. This is horrible. This is so bad. Wow. Two, okay, so Margaret is number... Is eight from the bottom. And Kaya is four from the bottom. This is horrible. I have two Kai. So if I can get to the bottom eight, we, we're unlocking. But this is really bad. And I think we end our turn here. I should have used... The problem is he wasn't attacking me for me to use Spada. <sighs> that sucks. Okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll draw into some more Kayas. Maybe Sanji P laughs will be fine. It'll we'll get us where we need to get. Plus, only one Kaya with the snake could be very effective, to be honest with you. We might not need more. So he goes for the full power punch. But this is not enough. I mean, we could just block it, right? But I don't want to block it. I want to use cards from my hand. Let me see. I'll just block this one. Okay, there we are. So we're not sad anymore. We have the Kaya. We'll play the Kaya down. And then we can play Margaret as well. There's Sanji. We'll play him next turn. We're fine. What is this? We should have attacked into the guy right here. He didn't kill our... We should have attacked with Nami into this. This is a failure from us. Okay, this is perfect. We needed this. And then we can use... We can't use Desert Spot, unfortunately. We're going to have to use the gavel. But I'm trying to figure out what I want to throw out. I guess a rubber band. Man, at this point, I'll just throw out the spada, to be honest with you. Uh, our last Kaya. Yeah. So good thing we keep picking her back up because we don't have any more Kaya's in the deck. So we play Sanji then Kaya so we can draw. Why is he not attacking with these? Oh, he's 6k, never mind. <laughs> Another Sanji. That's what I'm talking about. And then we can grab a gavel. People are saying that Daz is not good. I really like it. I don't want to play Kaya yet until I have a way to pick her back up. And we could just trash the Desert Spot the next turn. I'm still at 20 only. This is bad. But I have 5 life. I mean, we have a lot of life. We can take some hits. And my hand is huge. We're fine. I think we win this game. I don't know how he's gonna try to win. The problem is my Kai's are at the bottom. That's the only problem here. So Kaya right now is at the bottom 8. So this is gonna be what? Another 13? No, a 10. 10 is easy. Uh, 
Oh, more. Damn it. Okay, whatever. Do I have to use two gavels? Damn, I have to use more than two gavels. I almost want to take this. Well, he wasn't ready for my triggers. I wanted to activate some triggers at this point. This guy can kind of win us the game, but that's too much expensive. That's too expensive. Like maybe if I needed one more card, but I don't know. That's crazy. Okay, now his double attacker is not active. I should have used this. I messed up. Oh, I trashed the Sanji's. I'm so dumb at this game. I should have played this already. This is insane. Sure, I'll resolve this one. I'm so bad at the game, guys. Kind of messed up there. Let's play the Kaya here. There we are. These snakes should help a lot. Too many snakes, actually. My dumbass trashed the Sanji. I'm so dumb. If I knew he was going to attack, why did I put the Sanji on top? We might still be able to win. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we might be able to win if we can pull up the sky one more time and activate everything we have. And get a nice trigger here. Okay, first thing we do is we pick up the Kaya. Okay. Then we'll see if he keeps attacking into us. We'll play the 5k white snake. Okay, we're getting to the Margarets and Kayas now. That's true, at the bottom of the deck is Kayas. So he's not gonna let me do the snake.
Nice. There's the Margaret. Number eight. Let me think about this one. We need a trigger, right? Yes! That's game. That's game. That's game. That's game. Do we have an East Blue at the bottom? Yeah, I put my Kai at the bottom. <laughs> Even with a misplay. Wow, even with the misplay. All right, let's play against this black Luffy, guys. It's going to be cool. I think this is an okay hand. We don't get to play anything, but it's fine. We now have Crocodile in case our opponent is going to be super heavy on attacking into us. We're going to try to play him out as early as possible and gain some value from him. So that's what we are going to be trying to do here this game, guys. Let's focus up. Desert Sparda is going to be a strong start here. Uh, honestly, we just put all of this at the bottom. Which is great. We don't need any of that. Desert Sparda is pretty strong and then it has really nice triggers. So we want to play it as much as possible. Okay, our hands trash, but we have the trash fodder that we need. It's just that we can't play anything. Which is not the worst thing in the world, because we'll be having a lot of Dawn, but we could have played like a Margaret here, I think. I don't think he'll be able to do a lot of pressure. He should be trying to apply pressure, he's not, which is telling me he's not really accustomed to playing against Nami. He should be applying a lot of pressure, he should be attacking with 6Ks right now, he should be attacking non-stop. But maybe he's building board. I don't know what he's waiting on. All right, so we still don't have anything to play. We can't attack it to anything. We just end our turn again. So three turns in a row, we then we just drew. We'll just uh, play that card first. Make sure he doesn't think he's just gonna outmaneuver us here. Okay, finally we have a Margaret. Still can't attack into anything, we just end turn. It's 5k is attacking. I think he was gonna remove her anyways. That's fine, I'll take the big hits. Okay, we'll just trash these two. He should have been attacking with the brand new. He should just keep applying pressure non-stop. So the Kaiju is not going to do anything if I don't have anything on the board. So I guess this is a turn where I guess I could do a big attack here maybe. Still at 30. Damn, I had to discard. 
Why didn't he attack this turn? That's weird. What is this game that I'm playing, man? I don't draw anything? Okay, nice draw for the love love beam, saved us. This is the problem with this deck is we just draw our whole hand out. Like we play our hand too early, usually, every time. It's just susceptible to a lot of pressure. There's no way to make me 6k or 7k. I think I lose here. I don't have the blocking. Tough. Oh, very tough game. No triggers. No triggers at all. That's crazy. late way late so close oh, damn it, damn it. if only I hit a couple of triggers here it would have been game over I just, if only I had a couple of triggers. Okay, 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 no problem. Good game.